Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this short video, I'd like to walk you through the PAC video short series, over 55 videos intended to help one self-develop in the PAC processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. The PAC video short series are organized into eight different categories. The PACT overviews include seven short videos, including an overview of what PACT is, also covering technology transfer, PACT and the enterprise process performance improvement methodologies, the human performance technology extension of instructional design methods, some case studies on the PACT processes, PACT particularly for new hires and then for incumbents, and a very interesting approach to establishing ROI, return on investment. The PACT analysis series include eight videos covering analysis of the target audience, of establishing areas of performance, a segmentation scheme before diving deep into the detailed analysis of performance and the enabling knowledge and skills. PACT projects always assess existing training for their reuse potential. PACT also looks at other enablers and we have a unique way of doing the analysis to look at managerial performance. PACT curriculum architecture design videos cover six areas. An overview of curriculum architecture design, paths and planning guides, modular events, a five-tier inventory structure that really gets at reuse and increases the potential of reuse, how to conduct a design meeting, and the importance of establishing gap priorities, including leaving them to informal learning, what in PAC we call unstructured on-the-job training. The D series on modular curriculum development have eight videos, including one on Modular Curriculum Development Overview, and then a closer look at event maps, lesson maps, and instructional activity specifications. Also, how to conduct a design meeting, a focus on lesson maps in particular, another on establishing the learning objectives of events and modules, modules becoming lessons and then instructional activities, a focus on instructional activity specifications where all of the analysis data eventually resides. Kicking off a development team meeting in MCD is of particular interest to ensure that the modular designs remain intact and that's how the content is built. That will improve reuse later for additional target audiences. And then a very important aspect of modular curriculum development pilot testing. In the E-Series Instructional Activity Development, there are four short videos. An overview of instructional activity development and acquisition, a particular focus on performance tests, and APOs, which follow infos and demos, information, demonstration, leading to application and a video that focuses singularly on creating performance simulations. In the F-Series, Project Planning and Management, there are 10 short videos. One focused on project plans and proposals, planning for a curriculum architecture design project, which is different than a modular curriculum development project, planning for an IAD, Instructional Activity Development Project, the various project teams and roles, and then a closer look at project steering teams, analysis teams, design teams, development teams, and pilot test teams. In the G-Series, we have six videos focused on group process facilitation, a key skill of a PAC practitioner. In the H-Series, 
we round out the entire series with a focus of the transition from instructional systems design to performance improvement and performance improvement consulting. EPI is a human performance improvement methodology, enterprise process performance improvement. It's an extension of the packed instructional systems design methodologies by design. PACT. It's an acronym. Performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. For training, learning, and knowledge management. I've been in the ISD business since 1979 and have been publishing and presenting on these methods, now known as the PACT processes for training and development, since the early 1980s. I've had a lot of experience conducting curriculum architecture design projects over the years. My clients include many Fortune 500 companies, and I've done repeat projects for a number of them. Oftentimes, my clients' ISD staff learn the methodologies through observation, and sometimes in formal coaching, and at other times through formal workshops. I'm happy to help my clients learn and internalize the methodologies and to adopt what makes sense and to adapt what's needed to be adapted. I also have vast experience in conducting modular curriculum development projects for my clients. These are typically known as ADDI type projects, which is the new product development aspect of the PAC processes for training and development. The PAC video short series is intended to help you become proficient in the PAC processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. There are many other resources on my website and elsewhere. My Lean ISD book was converted in 2011 into multiple books. This PAC process six pack is intended to help a learner become more proficient in the PAC processes 